Okay, going to show you some recent vinyl findings. Um, haven't found that much uh, or that many um, 78 RPMs lately, so I've been more in a vinyl mood lately. And <coughs> the major part of my record collection are vinyl records, so that comes natural. Uh, first, I'll show you this one. Uh, Vince Guaraldi, Jazz Impressions of a Fantasy Label. I've been trying to find the Jazz Impressions of Black Orpheus because I want the song Cast Your Fate to the Wind uh, on an album, on vinyl. But, well, I found, uh, I found uh, um, um, a half-speed mastering version, but I thought that was a bit overkill uh, for me because it costed around approximately 50 pounds so well uh, this was much cheaper it's a uh, 80s pressing so it's not from the time but it's in nice red vinyl look forward to listen to that lately uh, then I found some uh, Instrumental country on uh, saxophone, Ace Cannon, Country Comfort, on the High London label from 19, mid 1970s. Very nice. I, I like his saxophone playing a lot. Uh, now the jazz album, The Best of Rassan, Roland Kirk. Um, very good jazz musician, reed player, who played all kinds of different uh, reed instruments with all kinds of different names and he often played them all the same at the same time. Uh, so I think it's it was a weird but good jazz musician. Uh, collection from 1971 on Atlantic. Um, fairly new compilation, double album, uh, The Northern Soul Story, Volume 2, The Golden Torch, with uh, lots of interesting Northern Soul tracks from the 60s, and this is also colored vinyl, very nice green marble, and very good music on it, very nice songs often totally forgotten today. Okay, uh, then I bought some uh, reissues of Rolling Stones. You can see my theme here on the scooter. Rolling Stones. Uh, I've got quite a lot of the early Rolling Stones albums now. And I like these reissues. Good music and I'm not that interested in that it should be the first pressing and, and so on. This is Between the Buttons and uh, their Satanic Majestic uh, their Satanic Majesty's Request Psychedelic Rolling Stones very beautiful record cover though, you see how it shines, it's a bit metallic. Okay, <laughs> here comes, uh, well, I bought this on CD when it uh, was released and I think it was the best album of the 1990s, but now I found it on double LP, a uh, recent issue from Sony, uh, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. And then to novelty, I collect uh, comedy records and two really novelty records here. <laughs> Never seen these before. The Adventures of Batman Rubin, Jewish Boy Wonder by Alan Rossi. And I've listened to it uh, earlier today. It's, it's really, it's really corny. It's nothing you would really laugh at. It's very corny. Uh, the weird thing about this uh, is that it's actually written by Bob Kane, 
who wrote the original uh, Batman and Robin stories. So he uh, <laughs> did a kind of parody of himself there, Batman and the Adventures of Batman and Rubin of the Red Mercury label. Hmm? Okay, you know. If you are interested in comedy records, you're well aware of the uh, first family albums from the early 60s. And so was I. I've got those in my collection as well. But this one I had never heard of. At Home With That Other Family. It's with uh, it's produced and written by Lennon Gaines. Uh, George Segal plays the Soviet leader of the time, Nikita Khrush Khrushchev. And uh, we have Buck Henry here as Fletcher Nixon, and Joan Rivers is also uh, participating on this album from 1962. Never seen this before. I haven't listened to it either, so I'll do that later. I'll look, I'll look forward to that uh, on the Roulette label. Uh, yeah. Then I, I just came to the post office and collected a package with a record in it. So, from the mail order company Hot Stuff. So, unlike Slack Jones one, I think his name is Slack Jones one, who has a steak night of destiny when he opens his packages. I thought I for once opened the package on cam as well. But I don't, I don't have a steak knife of destiny. I have a paper knife of destiny. Be careful. What do we have here? I don't. I, I know what we have got here, or at least what we ought to have here. So, so let's see. From Hot Stuff, which is a, a mail order and firm for, for music. They sell CDs as well, but. Uh, I have bought quite a lot of uh, vinyl records from them. Well, 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 what do we have here? We have the latest album with the Swedish prog rock group Kennekaise, Idioten, The Fool. It's a limited issue uh, LP, only 500 copies. Um, I, I I bought their last. They made. They were extremely big in the 70s and made lots of very good records. The mix, um, um, folk music and progressive rock in a very nice way. I, I, I've always been. Um, I always like when you mix folk music and uh, uh, other kinds of music, and they do this very good. Then they reformed in the early 2000s. Uh, noughties and uh, they made a comeback album in 2009 just that was just called Kemekaise and that was the best record I heard all that year so I, I really look, look forward to this one and I look forward to listen to it later Kemekaise Idioten that's all for now bye bye